is born of knowledge, but so too can knowledge be its demise. A disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. King Deshret brought this forbidden knowledge into our world, and it quickly spread like a plague. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers. Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate, deathly silence remained. Were it not for greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forests, the damage would have been irreversible. She summoned the priests to build temples and infused into them the divine power of life. The disaster was miraculously tempered, and the embers of our civilization were preserved in Aru village. Alas, the miracle could not last. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. In the end, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, chose to sacrifice himself. I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. But now, my duty is coming to an end. As I close my eyes for the final time, the sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more. In helping King Deshret to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength, and her form became that of a small child. How strange. Now that I think of her, I no longer have any fear of death, for I sense that the spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. Children of the desert, Cling no longer to past grievances, but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence.